Use it or lose it. Have you ever heard a man say, if I don't have sex, my penis will stop working? Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. If you have been enjoying my content, please show me some love and smash that subscribe button and share with a friend. And if you just hopped on this channel and on this video, join the family by smashing that subscribe button and writing a comment. So what are we waiting for? Let's roll in. We often hear men say that if they don't have sex, they will not be able to function. If they don't have sex, at least once a week, they are going to develop erectile dysfunction. If they don't have sex, the semen will accumulate around their waistline and they are, they are going to feel tired and weak. So it's important that they keep having sex. So I'm here to teach you about the male anatomy and ab about what actually happens in a man's body. The body takes care of itself. Your body pumps blood to every part of your body, including your genitalia. And it's important to know that men have erections and women have clitoral erections. And this happens within the hours, early hours of the morning, that's 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. So men have morning erections and women have morning erections. Men have penile erections and women have clitoral erections during arousal, during intimacy. So it's very vital that a man should have morning erections. And one of the proof that your genitalia, your member is in good health is that you have morning erections indicating that you have good blood flow towards that area. It is important to note that the main cause of erectile dysfunction in men is poor blood flow towards the genitals. So it's not because you are not having sex that's why you are going to get erectile dysfunction. Now, some of the diseases or some of the causes of erectile dysfunction are high blood pressure, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and what have you. Now, I know your question will be, so what about the semen my body produces? Now, just like the woman's egg, that are produced in her body. Some come out through menstruation, some absorbed by the body. Most of a woman's eggs that she is uh, being created with, being born with, are absorbed in her body. So if you are not sexually active, your body absorbs the semen, and the semen will contain the sperms, and it will not cause you to have testicular atrophy. It will not reduce the size of your testicles. It will not cause prostate enlargement. It will not give you erectile dysfunction. And when I'm talking about erections, I'm talking about premature ejaculation, no ejaculation, delayed ejaculation, and retrograde ejaculation. So if you are a male and you are not sexually active, you should focus on your genital health and monitor it through morning erections. Now, morning erections should be something constant for every healthy male. So if you're having erectile dysfunction, note that it is not because you are not having sex or it's not because you were not sexually active for a period of time. So a lot of men who are promiscuous use this as an excuse. A lot of people who are single, not married, use this as an excuse to be promiscuous, to have several partners. And somebody asked me, so 
if I don't have sex, you know, I'm going to feel like my head is going to explode. And I tell them that is because you have trained your mind. So your body is following. And I keep on telling people, your whole body, your whole life cannot be centered around your genital, cannot be controlled by your genital. If your life is controlled by your genital, that means you have a problem. You have a personality problem. You have a problem with yourself. You have a problem with your values. Nota bene, if you have been sexually pure, if you have abstained from sexual intercourse for a while and you start having sex and you notice that you're having erectile dysfunction or if you notice that you have an enlarged prostate, or if you notice that your testicles are shrinking note that you had that problem even before you started abstaining from sex note that you have an underlying disease that is sponsoring these problems you're having. So it's very important that as a man, you should constantly go for checkups. Check your blood pressure, check your blood sugar, check your cardiovascular health, check your heart health, and be sure to enjoy your sexual life when you meet the right person. I believe in having sex or being intimate with the right person, not only for procreation, but also for your mental health. Very important. People who are broken, people who have been traumatized, people who are dysfunctional are those who are promiscuous. If you check and you do your own census, you would agree with me that if you are going through childhood traumas, if you are dysfunctional in character and in behavior, if you have low self-esteem, promiscuity is going to be part of you. And you will always be saying that if I don't use my member, if I don't have sex, I'm going to be impotent or I'm going to have erectile dysfunction. I hope I've been able to teach you something today that you can pass on to your brother, to your sister. Share this video with your spouse and uh, stay healthy because you're worth it.